Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in, for taking a few moments in your day to watch this. But most importantly, I want to thank you for sharing, subscribing, and commenting. It means a lot to me. Even as you're sending me direct messages, I would prefer you comment, but I really appreciate your thoughts and your pushback and your questions. It means a lot to me to know that you are listening. So one of the things that I've been thinking about as a business strategist, we strategize for what's coming. We look ahead. We have this habit, really, this innate drive to fly up high and look at things from 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 feet above, like a bird's eye view. Sometimes that means that we miss the detail or that we are not necessarily um, interested or that we are frustrated by micro things because we really enjoy the macro conversation. I feel I'm a little bit of a hybrid in that I deal with clients and work with people on their micro strategies, on their tactics, on how they want to implement certain efforts and certain action to actually achieve the vision that they have. Well, 2020 put a spin on that because nobody planned for 2020 to work out the way that it has. Nobody had it penciled into their agenda to encounter a global pandemic and what that would mean to us personally, professionally, how our economy might be impacted. Certain industries have been basically eliminated while others are flourishing and doing really well. It's a very confusing and impactful time for all of us and nobody, nobody not from a 20,000 feet up above level or in a micro level was really prepared for this. And it begs the question of whether or not we should continue to plan. What is the purpose of a plan if we really are not in control anyway? Well, Planning isn't about control. Planning is about alignment. Planning is about assessing where you are. Planning is about looking at the information that has come at you, the things you have learned over the last few months and year, and how you might want to proceed forward. Planning is less about control and more about being engaged assigning your efforts in such a way that makes sense for you and what your circumstances are, how you might want to proceed forward. So your plan and your efforts then inform the actions that you want to take. Efforts are things that you can do. Efforts are things that you're willing to put forward. An effort is like climbing a mountain or digging a way through a situation you know it's going to take effort. Every time you do something new, it takes an effort. All right, so as I'm actually sitting in this room with my team, it's not our room, we're getting to borrow it, from a client who is organizing a virtual conference. And the reason why they're doing that is because they believe that it's still important to reach their team members. And I could not agree more. 2020, it's got tons of space and time in it for us to engage our vision, to make plans and put our efforts forward, to take action on the things that we would like to see accomplished, how we want to feel, more importantly, how we want to make other people feel. When I first set out in this year with a vision of what I want this company, my company to accomplish, I took a big, bold step forward uh, and I wanted to be a little bit different. I wanted to do a half year plan. So it was June 2019 that my team and I sat together and we said, you know what we're going to do is we're going to aim for these new frontiers, these new peaks. These are the things that we want to do for our clients. Here's how we want to impact our audience. And then I left on vacation with my family to visit my family in Europe. And no sooner had I landed in Germany, something really dramatic happened internally in my team to one of my key team members that really changed how we were going to function together, how we were going to work together because of a personal circumstance in their life. What I'm trying to tell you is that plans 
are not an insurance policy and they're not an insurance for you to have control. They change and they're changed on us. But when you have a plan and you are, it's connected to a vision, you can realign and reassess the efforts you have to make, even if the efforts that you are making now are in light of this giant new thing that you had no intention on scaling or addressing, but it is here now. Your plan and your efforts are informing your actions. So as we were working through, as a team, these new circumstances, and, and we were working through the things that were, um, that we're needing, needed to, needing to address, uh, the efforts we need to make, needed to make uh, to move forward, one of the things that we noticed, um, and it took us a moment to notice it, is that with the new circumstances, we very quickly formed new habits. And some of those habits were less healthy. Um, maybe you can relate to that. Maybe in the last eight to 10 months, um, since this global pandemic has hit us, um, you have developed some less than healthy habits. It's okay. Those habits don't need to begin to define you. You can plan to, 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 you can plan to align your efforts to new actions that are in line with where you're now wanting to head. The things that have happened to us, the things that we didn't plan for that are impacting us, don't have to become our grave clothes, so to speak. You are not dead. You are fully alive and you can continue to move forward even if the unthinkable has happened, even if the unpredictable has happened, even if the hard things have happened. So for the remainder of 2020, as we are in the throes of a really hot summer, moving into autumn and into Q4, as we are winding down a year um, that has been so challenging, what might you challenge yourself to dream about, to vision about, to plan for? It's okay to plan, even if back in the back recesses of your mind, you're thinking, well, what on earth is it for? It's for you. It's for you and for us to be authentic, to be aligned, to move forward, to have a bigger vision than what has happened to us, to make new habits, to scale new frontiers, to climb new mountains, to put our efforts forward and to take the kinds of actions that actually move us forward. Look, I know I'm really passionate about this because I don't know where I would be in my life if I didn't learn this lesson. I'm not saying it's easy for us. In fact, this last year as a company has been one of the most challenging years uh, for me professionally. But it's okay because we can learn and we can move and we can intentionally plan and align our efforts and our actions toward something new. And that is what I intend to do. And that is what I intend for you to do uh, and support you in. So give me your thoughts and your questions and your pushback. I'm sure you have them and it's all right. It's okay to have them and I want to hear about it. I wanna hear what you're thinking. I wanna hear if you're stuck. I wanna hear if you feel like, what would I plan for? If I could, we'll have that conversation. Thanks for listening.